Neptune, one of the biggest planets, also ruler of Pisces, will be retrograding in Pisces for six months, starting July 2nd, 2024, all the way through December 7th, 2024. So as a water sign, Pisces, it's going to be affecting those of us who are in Pisces more or anywhere you have Pisces in your house. But um, regardless, it's a great time for all of us to really show up, do our inner work so that we can trans transition and go through this transformational time with more inner peace and ease. So please watch till the end so that you can really glow up to take advantage of this energy. Aloha, welcome. So with this Neptune retrograde, Neptune represents the dreamy spiritual world as well as creativity. It's the mother of Pisces, ruler of Pisces. It's a big, slow-moving planet. So when it's retrograding, that means we're going to be awakened with um, revealing the veil of any illusions, any pink colored rose glasses that we've been wearing. So it's a very powerful time to do our inner work, show up, especially on an emotional level and remove blockages. And when we consciously show up and do our inner work, it's going to make things move more smoothly. You might have experienced some creative blocks during this time. So you just want to review and really get real with what your dreams are, what's really achievable, and at the same time, maybe might do minor pivots so that you can really take the next inspired action and keep moving forward towards your dream at the same time flow with life. So you don't want to be going against retrograde, but utilize this time to really take it slow and take an internal review. And it's a great, powerful time for removing and releasing emotional blockages as well as maybe looking at some addictions you might have or not necessarily very heavy addictions but it includes any bad habits maybe that you might want to let go of so it's a great time to really show up and this is a end of an era very transformational time as well so that's why these things are coming up so that we can face them, learn the lessons and move through so you can keep moving forward towards your dream. So we're going, we're in this big transition from end of age of Pisces going into the age of Aquarius. So Pisces was a more um, religious, spiritual, but the shadow side of is that there's a lot of like self-sacrificing um, energy that keeps you more in illusion, dream world, which is not always bad, but it could really get you out of touch with reality sometimes. And the age of Pisces was also very much guilt-ridden and self-sacrificing, very maternal. Um, but that's the shadow side. So we're going to, when we're going through retrograde, you always want to look at those parts because that's going to get heightened. 
what hasn't been seen is going to be revealed so that you can really face them and it takes bravery, courage to face them so that you can really work through all the emotions that are coming up for you and I, I'm here to support you to, with Reiki energy today so that you can navigate through this with a community that's non-judgmental, loving, like-minded. So we can also support each other in the comments of all of us that are watching this video. And you can come to this video every day throughout the next six months whenever you need support with letting go of addiction and removing, releasing emotional blocks. And it's gonna connect us to divine love and wisdom. And you can really elevate on a um, spiritual level, intuitive level, really get superpower, new skills, cosmic consciousness, and maybe seeing things beyond this, this seeing world. So the veil is thin as well. So you can really tap into that magical, um, divine wisdom and maybe get some creative inspiration ideas if you show up to do the work. And um, maybe looking at getting real with some habits that have been getting in your way of really achieving your dreams and you know, it could be simply as maybe take less sugar, go to bed early, and so it doesn't have to be like the deepest addiction. Maybe eat less uh, things with processed sugar and do small, make small changes so that we can take baby steps in the next six months. Again, this is a very slow, big planet that's slow moving, so there's no rush, but just being aware of what's available to you right now so that you can flow with these planetary energetic shifts the more you can take advantage and use it to your benefit so we're also the more you show up and do this inner work it's going to help you release all the emotional blockages that might be holding you back and then elevating you to expand into unity consciousness. So instead of that separation, loneliness, aloneness you've been feeling, you can connect to that oneness with all that is, that unity consciousness, and that whole of creative ideas that in that collective field that's way beyond this realm. So you can connect to that, heightening your intuition, your psychic abilities, and using your emotions to transform into a superpower. Sensitivity can be your superpower to tap into, really feel beyond what's seen, really elevate all your fifth five senses as well as the sixth sense and the more we make as I mentioned the more we show up to do this internal work it's also gonna show up externally so it's as within so without as above so below and it's gonna make this transformation more peaceful more ease and you're gonna be flow be able to flow with life more and excel in your creativity and remove all the creative blocks that might show up during this time and then really gain clarity to what needs to be done and then being real with what's really not working or maybe you've been disillusioned about certain situations or person or even your projects and then just getting that more objective bird's eye view to get clarity and making small pivots and small inspired actions to take towards that and it's going to open you up into new way of 
doing things, new skills, new way of seeing, perspectives. A lot of times the solutions to our problem is solved by simply changing your perspective. So this is a great time to really do that. And you're going to be more telepathic, which also makes you more creative and intuitive. So that you can really create from that authentic space that's meant for you to truly share your gift out with the world. So as I've mentioned, I'll be sharing Reiki here, distance Reiki. So come to a seated position. So I'm going to energetically support you through navigating through this, these changes, giving you that emotional support so you can really feel and transform your emotions in a safe, supportive space. So take a moment to get centered. You can lie down or be seated. And I'm going to call in distance Reiki energy. Start to take some deep breaths in and out through your nose. And feel the earth support beneath you, really ground. It's really also important to ground, especially as an empath, a water sign. It's very sensitive, highly sensitive individual special souls. <sighs> Feel free to sigh out a few exhales through your mouth. And then the distance Reiki has been turned on. And I'm going to bring this tuning fork. to rise, elevate into higher vibration, open up to receive this Reiki healing. Again, all you have to do is open up to receive, relax, and close your eyes or open your eyes be seated or lying down. Just make sure you're not driving or operating any heavy machines or anything that could be dangerous. You don't want to do this when you're cooking or have hot iron. Anything that could be harmful. Just relax, open and receive. So just know that you are receiving this, you have found this video exactly when you needed it. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a lot of silence for you to feel and visualize in between my guidance. And at this time, please take a moment to set an intention to see things clearly, release any disillusionment, being brave to see and learn the lessons, make any pivots necessary, and set a new intention for your big dream. And you don't have to worry about how it's going to happen. Feel it as if it's true right now. 
connect to the feelings that are present when this intention is true. You can even visualize how you feel or maybe how that day goes. What you do when you wake up, how you go through the day, with all five senses, touch, see, smell, hear, taste. Feel. Notice any obstacles that arise or any emotions that you've been suppressing wanting to arise. You can remind yourself you are safe. Let give yourself the permission to feel. Let it flow through you. you want to feel to heal. Cry, laugh, maybe it's a feeling of love, feeling of hate, feeling of anger. Let yourself, whatever feeling that arises, know that all is here to be looked at, acknowledged, felt, and then released without any judgment. yourself to simply relax and receive all the Reiki healing energy to clear and release any emotional blocks, any emotions that are arising. Make an intention to let go of any bad habits that might not be serving you. Let go of any judgment against that also. See yourself making the positive change, however small it might be. Taking that one small inspired action towards the change you want to see. See yourself succeeding. Celebrating any small wins. And really own the feelings that are present when you accomplish your goal. Or when you reach your dream. Notice where you feel that emotion. And let that feeling of happiness, joy, love expand as big as you want to make expand. 
celebrating with all those that are supporting you, that are happy for you, connecting, expanding into that unity consciousness. Feel my support, my celebration for you. Take a moment to bring your hands to your heart center and really thank yourself for showing up, being brave, to show up and doing the inner work that's necessary to transform, adding to collective energy by sharing and shining your gift with the world allowing yourself to truly shine becoming the lighthouse for all those around you who needs that gift that you have to share Making this world a better place with your innovation, your ideas, your creativity. I'm gonna ring one more tuning fork to seal this break healing session. Thank you in divine Reiki love and wisdom. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me and everyone that's watching this video. And if you made it this far, please comment. Flow with my dream. In the comment section below, flow with my dream. Then for more, you can watch this Reiki playlist for more Reiki. And as I mentioned, you can always come back to this anytime you need in the next six months and just skip to the Reiki portion. And I'll be adding chapters. So thank you.